This time, Nicole Stott and Jeff Williams, the two flight engineers for Expedition 21, will be inside the, Zev the Zvezda service module. Taking photos of Atlantis, Nicole Stott will be using a camera with a 400 millimeter lens on it. Jeff Williams will be using a higher powered camera with an 800 millimeter lens on it. That 400 millimeter lens can see resolutions of up to three inches. The 800 millimeter lens can see resolutions of up to one inch. This will give the teams here in Houston uh, good data and analysis of Atlantis's heat shield to make sure that the shuttle is faring well and is uh, ready to go for the re-entry at the end of this mission. This is Mission Control to Houston, Shuttle Atlantis, now passing out over the Atlantic Ocean, continuing this rendezvous pitch maneuver. As this is taking place, Nicole Stott and Jeff Williams are in the Russian segment of the station, snapping away uh, several hundred pictures of Atlantis and its heat shield. In about 20 minutes, Atlantis will be passing over into an orbital sunset uh, just to the west of Europe. This rendezvous pitch maneuver will be completed by that point in time. As Shuttle Atlantis continues to perform this backflip maneuver, you can uh, make out some of the more than 20,000 tiles covering uh, the shuttle's belly. Jeff Williams and Nicole Stott continuing to uh, take their pictures. There will be several hundred pictures downlinked to the ground here in Houston beginning today so that the teams here can uh, combine this uh, imagery with the uh, video 
and the uh, data they received yesterday using the orbiter boom sensor system to uh, get a good picture, uh, both literally and figuratively, of uh, the state of Atlantis's heat shield to make sure that the shuttle is in good shape and ready to go uh, for the rest of the mission. All of this will also be combined with the imagery that will be captured during what's called late inspection after the shuttle undocks. But so far, Atlantis appears to be in uh, very good shape. The uh, three main engines and the two uh, Ohms pods coming into view now. You're also getting a unique view of the uh, shuttle's robotic arm attached to this express logistics carrier number one. Atlanta is continuing to uh, circle around under the control of Commander Charlie Hobart. You can see the shuttle's robotic arm attached to ELC-1. ELC-2 sits directly behind it toward the back end of the shuttle. These are the two large cargo pallets that will be installed on the International Space Station beginning today. The uh, shuttle and the station uh, currently 570 feet apart from each other as they continue their formation flying over the Atlantic Ocean.